الممثل اللامع يلي بدي مشواره بالتمثيل مع فيلم لوف ياتري واخر اعماله الفنيه كان فيلم رسلان يلي انبهر الجمهور فيه خصوصي بادائه بالاكشن بالتاكيد عم نحكي عن الممثل الرائع ايو شارما ويلي طبعا عشاق بوليوود بيعرفوا انه هو بيكون زوج اخت السوبر ستار سلمان خان خلينا ننتقل سوا لزميلي احمد المرزوقي بلقاء مميز مع النجم البوليودي ايوش شارما سايوش ويلكم تو يو اي ثانك يو سو ماتش ناو هاو دوز ات فيل تو بي كونكتد تو ان اراب ريجن اي ثينك فور مي يو اي هاز بيكم هوم اي سبيند ا لوت اوف تايم ماي فاميلي لافز ذا ذا هول كالتشر اوف دبي دي كم اي ثينك ايفري اولترن مانث وير ان دبي ما شاء الله مي بي فور ا ويكند مي بي فور ا ويك Uh, every year for the last five years we've been celebrating our New Year's over here, uh, which is beautiful. Yes. Uh, so I think uh, for me it become it's it's my second home. Uh, I love the people. Uh, there is a lot of warmth in the place. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of things to do. Uh, between you and me, my kids constantly keep telling me in between, Papa, when are you going to Dubai? <laughs> when are you going to Dubai? When are you going to Dubai? How sweet. And uh, you know, my son's birthday recently we did it. We have done two of my son's uh, son's birthday over here. Oh, wow. My wife's birthday, so I think for me, uh, it's become now I'm come I'm, I'm in a part of where I know the roads, I know how to drive around. <laughs> no know, Google Map. You no know Google Direct. Map. I know this is where you have to go. This is the turn. This is what you do. I have my favorite food joints. I have my shopping places. My whole routine, what I need to do over here, and I think uh, I'm partially a citizen of UAE now. I think this is very something very beautiful that you have said. Um, vice versa, vice versa. When also when we come to India, we yep. have like you know they greet us with the open arms. Yep. I think this is also what our ruler have been saying, yep. and that you know don't differentiate any yep. race, any yep. reli- uh, racism or any religion. We always accept everyone. Yep. And I think because of you guys, our country is becoming successful as well. I must say this one also. <laughs> Now, Ayush, I have a question. Now, please take me back to your journey. How did you decided to become an actor? Ah. The Ayush Sharma. Ah, it, you know, it 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 started for me at a very young age. Hmm. So I I come from north of India, mm-hmm. and uh, my family was into the politics. It okay. was it was not into movies. We had we had we didn't know anybody who works in the movie industry, hmm. nothing. So there was a fascination uh, from the movies. You know the songs. Oh yeah. Uh, the first thing that uh, enticed me for movies were the uh, songs. Then came the music and the dancing and the color. It's a beautiful and, Indian and cinema. And my family had a tradition. So you know, my family had a very small tradition of it's someone's birthday, mm. if it's anniversary, uh, they like to go for movies. They want to go to the theaters. We watch a movie. We we watch a movie because it's a special occasion. Mm-hmm. So movies became special. Yes. It was a symbolic gesture. It's today someone's birthday in the family. Let's go watch a movie. Oh, it's someone's anniversary. Let's go watch a movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it's a festival. Uh, let's go watch a movie. Movies so movies right? were uh, somewhat subconsciously a uh, expression of celebration for me. Oh, okay. It meant special. It was some special day that day. Uh, that's when the whole idea of celluloid started, the big screen experience. Uh, I was very shy to confess to my family that there's a slight amount of inclination that I have towards <laughs> the movies. Uh, but behind closed doors, uh, I will watch a movie. I'll come back to my room. Bear my headphones and start dancing and emulating the steps. Oh God! And I'll do the dancing. And if I see an action sequence, I would like to emulate the action sequence. Uh, and that's where my passion for movies began. Hmm. It grew when I started bunking my school, okay. not going to school, and on Friday going to the theater secretly, watching movies. <sighs> and I just knew my movies. I knew my uh, um, what what was happening in which film and who was doing what. All the gossips everywhere. Uh, more than gossip, it was just the interest mm. of what's happening. You know, the passion for movies were very much real. And then that is where I secretly landed up into Mumbai. I I lied to my family that I want to study in Mumbai, but I wanted to become an actor. Okay. And I came to Mumbai. Uh, got admitted into college. Never showed up in college. I was doing acting workshops. I was going for auditions. Uh, I wanted to secretly break into movie sets. I wanted to learn how to, uh, you know, be what what a set feels like. Mm-hmm. And I remember back in the day, I had a very small little uh, shoot. Yeah. You know, I was a background dancer in Ye Jawani Hai Diwani. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I just signed up for that, 
because I just wanted to be on a movie set. I said I need to be on a movie set to know how it feels mm -hmm. to be on a movie set. What is the magic of cameras? What is the magic of lighting? Is the you know the fascination which generally doesn't happen in real life, but um, the fascination and the world of saying lights, camera, action. action. It just was the fascination, and that's how I um, you know from the age of eighteen started my journey to be an actor. Uh, the passion has not uh, reduced; it has grown. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm on the other side of the coin, where I know what happens backstage, yes. how you make a movie. But uh, the the child in me still is there, uh, even though I'm an actor myself. Mm -hmm. I see another actor perform a nice song, and I still want to copy it. Oh, <laughs> I want to practice it. Uh, I want to celebrate it. I see other actors doing something which I have not done, which is not I'm not there in the movie, but I see them do it, and I'm inspired. I'm channelized, and I want to do it again. I want to see like let. What if I do it? How will I do it? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my journey. That's my journey to be an actor. Uh, and uh, today, if you ask me, sometimes it just feels like you know when you stop at a certain point in life and you look back, you're like, "Dude, I'm living a dream." Really? That's it. See, dreams do come true. Oh, indeed. Do come true. Indeed. Now, what was your parents' reaction? We said, "I am an actor now." How, how it happened? How did you tell them? What was that? Uh, so, before I be became one, um, my parents got to know that I've been thrown out of my college. Yeah. They so, called them. Yeah, they oh called God. them up and said, "Your son has not been coming to college, so we're throwing him out." So they came. Obviously, they were like, "What happened? You're not studying. You're not doing anything. What are you? Where are you busy?" And then I confessed very sheepishly that I want to be an actor. And I remember at that point in time, my father said, "Listen, you cannot be an actor because I weighed 41 kilos." I was oh. a very thin boy, uh, didn't know how to dance, and he had a perception that if you want to be an actor, you need to be tall, mm. you need to have a physicality, you need to have a voice, mm. you need to walk right, you need to look right, and all the elements you don't have. So I feel you should not be an actor; you should retire. And that time, uh, my late grandmom. She she was an avid uh, you know viewer of daily soaps, the TV soaps that mm -hmm. India makes. And um, I just confessed it to her that you know I want to be an actor, and everyone in the family was against the idea of me being, becoming an actor, but she was the most excited. Oh, she said that I I'm hoping and praying you achieve what you want to achieve, even if you come on a daily soap, I'll be the most proud person because every night at eight thirty I'm going we'll to see, see you on you. TV, oh. and that's my dream: seeing my grandson on the scene. And I would like to tell everybody that's my grandson. Oh, so you know that uh, little element was the inspiration. You know, uh, it's a very small thing. Today, now when I'm an actor, my family, you know, they're quite. Uh, uh, they still can't digest it. Oh, seriously? Yeah, they still can't. Like they, they love it now. They're proud But of me. But still, like how? How did yeah. he become an actor? Like my father, mother just gets stopped and said, "Are you Aisha's mother?" She gets very <laughs> like conscious and she doesn't know oh. how to react, and you know, she gets very shy. Uh, when they ask her about anything about me, she gets very protective and she likes to say. I don't want to answer any questions about him. You know, he's just my son. He's just my son. Every And mother is like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's a beautiful quality. And uh, today, you know, when they see me on screen, it's like uh, uh, they discuss that you know this, you know, scene reminded me of your childhood that day. <laughs> this reminds this time. But that's you, beautiful, yeah, by the way. Yeah, they are yeah. like concentrating on yeah, it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Now, what about your audition? What was the first audition that you have given? <laughs> yeah. I want to know. It, it was a TV commercial. It was a oh. TV commercial. Um, that time, I remember they were doing a commercial uh, audition for Pepsi. Hmm. And um, our, my reporting time was 2 p.m. Um, I was standing outside till 6 p.m. From 6 p.m., a door opened, and they chose people like you, you, Randomly. you, 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 you come in. Mm -hmm. And that's how I went in. Uh, then I waited for three hours uh, inside in a small little room. Everybody was stuffed in like sheep's, and everybody was looking at each other. That you know, okay, who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? And that was the most beautiful part, you know, because when you're auditioning, you have faith in yourself, but you also are looking at everyone, saying, "Oh, that's." And we became like friends, all of us. Like oh. there were two hundred, three hundred boys that were all friends. So we're like, "Oh, he's come. He's very talented. He'll get it." Oh. What about me? What about this one? And you know, oh, you got it! Congratulations, man! You got the advertisement. So that was my first advertisement. Um, it was for Pepsi, and I still remember they had to do some. It was a tagline like "Put a can here and do tingly, 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 and all that." And uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Okay. I couldn't crack it. 
and I came out and I was, first day I couldn't do it and I was like, okay, if I can't get a commercial, I'm yeah, sure I'm not getting a movie. Yeah. And slowly and steadily that journey started, but uh, um, it was the most special audition for me, in my opinion. I see where you are right now. <laughs> Indeed. Really? Indeed. Now, I also want to know the most beautiful moment throughout your life that you will never ever forget. You know, it, it happened, in fact, um, recently. Hmm. So, uh, every time I do action in a movie, there is a, uh, there is a sense of getting hurt. Okay. Okay, that you do feel like, what if I get hurt? Hmm. Uh, what if this doesn't land correctly? You're doing something very dangerous. Um, the only thing that inspires me or keeps me going is the fact that I always feel that, you know, I want to be a good role model to my son. Oh. Wow. I want my son to look up to me. Really? really and uh, I don't want my son to, uh, you know, be a fan of Thor or Spider-Man or uh, any other he character. He wants to see you. Yeah, he wants to see his father do all that. And recently, my son told me, he said, uh, my last movie he saw, Ruslan. Yes. He said, and he's, he's taken it very seriously. He believes all the action sequences I've done in the film are real. And his father can do it. And his father is highly trained. And he believes everything. And uh, now, it was, it was not he was talking to me, he was talking to some of his friends. And they were talking about uh, Marvel superheroes. <laughs> and then my son just goes like, I don't, need, I don't need to worry about Marvel because my superhero stays in the oh. same house. And if he can save me any day, I feel like. So I think that was the most special moment for me where uh, my son is rooting. He made, that, uh, he made a hoodie called Ruslan. He wears it and he proudly boasts about it that my father is Ruslan. How old is he? He's eight. Mashallah, see. Yeah, eight. See, yeah. see kids yeah. nowadays, they're yeah. very intelligent <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah. God bless him. Thank you. Thank you so much. Since we're talking about best moment, now let's talk about baddest moment, the most difficult moment that you don't want to be back again in your life. Back again. You know, I would say the worst feeling that you can get is rejection. Definitely. Uh, so I would, I would say that it makes you feel the worst when you are rejected or you feel that you're not getting your due. Hmm. But I would not say that uh, I hope it doesn't come back. Because one thing about rejection is that rejection comes to you, uh, you feel bad about it and slowly and steadily you start overcoming the feeling yeah. of feeling bad about it. You understand it's a part and parcel of life. You know, then, then you're like, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, you know, sometimes success and failures happen in everyone's life. True. But when it happens to you for the first time, you feel like, oh, I'm the only one who's failed in life. Maybe I will never be able to rebound or maybe I will not be able to find success in life. But one thing that did make me feel very bad about myself was failure. But I would not say that I, today, I don't turn around and say, I hope it doesn't happen again. Hmm. It's okay. It will happen. It's journey. I'm bound to fall. True. I will get up. True. And uh, now it doesn't affect me as as badly it would affect me. But one thing I would like to say is nothing te nothing teaches you more than failure. True. So that's why I don't hope it doesn't happen again. Exactly. You become successful if you fail. Yeah. Because you're learning from it. Yeah. This is the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. And now a funny thing happened. We have seen you. <laughs> yeah. You are a beautiful wife, mashallah. Thank you. How does Thank it you. feel? We have seen you, but I haven't seen you dancing. Yeah. Why? I'm not dancing. Nah. <laughs> I'm actually a very shy dancer. I'm come a on. Very, I'm I have a... seen Love Yatri. Come <laughs> on, it was beautiful. <laughs> thank How you. come you're a shy dancer? You're a huge, big dancer, <laughs> mashallah. You know, thank you. But, you know, I, I am very shy in parties. Hmm. I'm a very, very shy person. Uh, when it comes to movies, hmm. there, is a, there is a difference. You know, uh, when, you wear your, when you wear your makeup, your costume, the music plays, there's a different person that comes alive inside me. Uh, but I'm not a dancer. Hmm. I, I'm not somebody who would go to a party and start dancing or be... I'm very uh, reserved that way. Oh, okay. So, I, I believe my dancing skills only come out in front of the camera. Otherwise, uh, I'm very shy. I'm very uh, nervous. I feel, uh, you know, jitters. Every, there are <laughs> about two, three times I've performed in Dubai for Dubai mm -hmm. And every time, you know, before uh, I go on stage, I'm like... Every time before I go on stage, I'm feeling like, okay, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to dance. I want to go away. I don't want to do it. The moment I go on stage, the moment I hear my name, I just it just happens. It just happens.
so i think dancing for me comes very um, very uh, it, it it's it's for it's very give and take for me i understand when you're dancing when you're on set you have those five six seven and eight, go and go and then you have something um in real life i'm a very shy person I am Come a, on yeah. I've talking to you you're not a shy person <laughs> I am more shy than you <laughs> No I've I've worked on myself I've worked on myself I've I've tr- tried to be more expressive I've tried to be uh, more uh, out there you know but uh, I'm still getting out I'm still trying to uh, you know uh, you know be more out there hmm. if you see I'm not very socially active or I'm not hmm. very not very always out there in everyday routine I live a very uh, private life and that's what my mindset is but uh, I'm working towards it but that's very beautiful working right now especially if you're on social media yep. you'll become a little, little bit more socialized hmm. this is for me at least for my own case hmm. yesterday I put that you know I'm coming with you like for an interview so yep. so I call it chai family so all chai my family. viewers chai family uh-huh. so I have one question from chai family okay I'm so sorry to ask you this question but uh-huh. they're asking how did you guys meet you and your wife my wife oh you know i i love this question because it's been 10 years it's going to be a decade this november seriously yeah, it's going to, it's going to be a decade this november since we are married and uh, it is so beautiful that in this journey um in everything i've done hmm my relationship with arpita has always been a part of any conversation and that's so beautiful i mean it in a good way yeah that uh, she's always been you know part of the conversation for a decade and i think that is something where i believe is has a lot of love affection yes. and curiosity um but yeah uh, for a decade i've been asking this question but i'll, <laughs> I'll say it again uh the thing is that for me arpita and me were friends oh we met through a common friend i was in my uh, just started my auditions and everything and uh, we a common friend introduced me to arpita we became um, friends uh she was in a relationship with somebody else i was in a relationship with somebody else and then we both were heartbroken individuals who came together which uh, is a good to, heartbroken yeah. that you get to. yeah and we were sharing our sorrows and in that sorrows we found each other then happened came the love where um, i i had feelings for her but i didn't want to break the friendship because our friendship was really really yeah. very strong and i didn't want to make it awkward uh, but then I slightly uh, started sensing that okay there's a liking from her side as well oh. because those 2 a.m calls started happening from oh. her side the 3 a.m calls and the 4 a.m calls and the long 3 3 hours for 4 hours you're talking on the phone and you're discussing things and all that then I proposed to her and um, today we are we are going to be completing a decade uh, it's beautiful it's like, very beautiful that she supports you Oh, she loves, she's, she's the most spine. important thing you know i always say my wife is not my wife uh, we share a relationship of best friends i call her my spine you know um, a system it, it's, it's, it's system. the most beautiful thing about my wife is that uh, when there's light the lights come on the cameras come on she fades away oh i got your point you know she doesn't like to be in the in front of the camera she doesn't want to be in front of the limelight she just fades away the moment i have to do what i have to do and when i come back home there's a beautiful family that's waiting home the most grounding family uh, which me reminds me that i'm just a human being not don't take the glitz and glamour to your head exactly and uh, she brings me to my you know ground and uh, when i need her the most that's when she comes out of the shadow wow. she's with me and then goes back god bless you guys god bless the thank family you. So now last two questions before we end now yeah. giving from your friend circles i'm going to ask you a question you mm. have to name one mm. although i don't know them but still yeah. we need names okay okay who is that person that you will take him or her to an italian restaurant him or her someone that they they always like italian they always like italian uh i think my very dear friend prashant chadda okay to movies to movies well I, my very dear friend devesh mathur who's Panipur. right there behind me behind the camera oh he's he's my, he's my childhood friend we both have grown up together uh, he's the first person i told that i want to be an actor oh. and uh, till date uh, my movie excitement he shares with me and we both uh, like to watch movies together because we don't watch movies like critics we don't watch just movies just fun just those those two little boys who would bunk school <laughs> and watch movies so we still do the same thing and laughing and joking and enjoying oh. everything so movies has to be with devesh mathur okay pani puri pani puri um, my wife arpita 
and me. I love yeah. Panipuri. Oh, Puri. perfect. Then <laughs> choose my name. So only. we have chai with Ahmed. Now we do Pani Puri with Ahmed. Come to Mumbai. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Lastly, Big Boss. Who will take him to here to Big Boss? Hmm. Big Boss. Uh, you know, I think it's it's quite it's going to be quite dangerous. But I think Arpita is going to be a very interesting contestant in Big Boss. Uh, and he's laughing. Yeah, you know everybody. Everybody is laughing because I think Arpita is going to, which I would like to. I would like to tell Big Boss try approaching my wife. Um, you, you put her in the show. Your show TRPs will go like. Uh, Arpita no is quite a, quite an interesting character, and I think uh, um, Big Boss would love it. And I would love to see her not being able to leave the house. <laughs> ah, so <laughs> now I got your point. Why? <laughs> now, lastly, yeah, Arabic. What's your favorite Arabic word? Favorite Arabic word. I, as we were discussing before, khalas. Khalas. I, you know, there's something very, um, <laughs> something very beautiful about it, uh, because in all with all my Arabic friends, it's like khalas. Yeah, this it's is like a common dumb. word. It's and it's 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 very like you know. I feel it's more like uh, I don't know why. Maybe maybe my understanding might be wrong, but you know, for me, how I see it, there's some stress, some stress, some stress, some something stressful, khalas. Yeah, khalas like let it be khalas, khalas. Yeah, move on. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. This is our own. And that, that's the attitude I love. Okay, now I want you put I want you to put this word khalas in yeah. a sentence. Khalas. So make it English sentence and put the word khalas. Let me see how okay. you will do it. Uh, okay. So yeah, uh, it's it's very easy. Whenever there's whenever I wake up in the morning and there's stress and I don't know what I'm supposed to do today. I say khalas. <laughs> Live the moment and breathe the fresh air that's around. That's it. This is very beautiful. We will end this one, but not before teaching you one more Arabic word. Uh -huh. So, to your beautiful wife, you can yeah. tell her Jamila. Jamila means beautiful. Jamila. See, this is not Jamila. Jamila. Jamil, it means for for men. Uh -huh. Jamila for ladies. Jamila. Okay. So you now we have one extra Arabic word Perfect. for me. Perfect. Jamila. Thank you so much, Ayush. Amal, and as I mentioned, home. that you're always here. Make this your first home, Perfect. a second home. Perfect. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Thank you, Ahmed.